Hello and welcome everyone to the year 27 audit. So this year is particularly special because this will be the last year where we're only doing one audit in a year. All subsequent years, uh, we're going to be doing at least two. I haven't exactly decided yet. So this will be the last single year audit. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and get started. So we're going to just take a quick look at the total sheet here just to start off with. So it says we're 85% complete. Um, there has been a small number of slight changes since the last audit. Uh, we have uh, a few new items that got added. So it's probably easier to show on the checklist here. Very glad that we are... Let's do this. Nope, that didn't do it. I'm so glad we can see the checklist in all of its glory. Um... Yeah, there's not really a good way to fix that. You can still see everything, it's just a little hard for some of them on there. Alright, so if we head on all the way down to decorations, you can see three new statues have appeared here. Luckily they're visible. <laughs> so, we've got the um, three decorative statues. I found out during this year that all three of these stack. So they will be required for completing. So that actually knocked us out of a few previously completed stacked items which i haven't bothered to uh, update on here because i'm going to get that fixed fairly soon i think yes i'm aware frazzle i know uh we're not going to be like looking at that in high detail or anything let me go ahead and have something to write on here there we go yeah so i will we're going to be sticking to the spreadsheet for this audit i'll go back and count things as stacked later Although, checking things is so nice, isn't it? Maybe we'll do that at the very end and I'll adjust it so it fits in. Okay, so let's get started. Fruit has been done and it has not been undone. The fruit is still good. Veggies, we have our fiddlehead ferns. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. You can actually kind of see it now, it's not super small. <laughs> All right, so calculator at the ready. We've got 999 plus 734 plus 24. Sorry, I messed up, but I rewrote it. 1757. So that gave us almost 100 more, which is pretty good. Boosted us up 2%. This is what happens with fiddleheads. They just take so long. Oh, welcome in. We're doing our audit right now. So we're doing some spreadsheets. Uh, could I get Sapling? Could you shout out Bull for me? Um, you should be able to since you have VIP. Bull is an awesome Stardew Valley streamer who's currently doing a 50 million gold challenge. So if that sounds interesting to you in one year, I should clarify. <laughs> it's less impressive when you have more than one year. Uh, and you've been going strong at that. It's been going really well outside of the uh, rain totem debacle from what I've seen. All right, on to our forges. We have hollies. So hollies, we got quite a few this year. We are up to 937 hollies. Okay, on to magma caps and the other mushrooms for that matter. 233 magma caps. Spreadsheet indeed. We gotta update this every so often so we know how we're doing. 339 morels. 885 purple mushrooms. Uh, Nautilus shells. We have to head down to the beach forge for that. We have 422 Nautilus shells. We're doing pretty well on that because we spend a lot of time in the harder mines looking for these things. 254 rainbow shells. Uh, let's see here. I forgot what we we're looking for. Sea urgents, duh. 945. We are very close on sea urgents. Yes, they are. Very elusive. Thank you so much, Sapling, for the shout out. Since Onion is AFK at the moment. Ash! <laughs> Sapling, can we get a shout out for Ash? Ash is, Ash is a uh, Stardew Valley speedrunner. You should all go check her out as well. Yes, the spreadsheets are very fun. 
Agreed completely. Okay, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention flowers have been done for a while, so we don't need to worry about those. We're on to fish, which we have made strides on last year. We revamped our fish ponds, so now we're working on a whole bunch of fish at the same time. Uh, so focusing on the ones that have actually changed, we have eel. We're going from 109 to 691. Okay, we have not changed, not changed, not changed. Largemouth has changed. We have a full stack of largemouth bass, but you'll notice that we're not done with it. That's because it's part of a dish. Thank you, Sapling, for the shout out for Ash. You didn't see nothing. Uh, this is G nine. Wait, why did it get bigger? <laughs> Hold on. It was at forty four, wasn't it? It should be the same. I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> uh, is there any way to cast on Twitch? What do you mean by that, Ansel? You mean to, like, cast it to your TV or something like that? There should be a way. Yeah, if you're on Twitch, you should be able to do, um, there should be, like, a Chromecast button if you've got Chromecast. The hardest item to attain 999 of is probably the tea set, um, but I've been recently very annoyed by the question mark question mark statues. Yeah, I don't know, Ansel. There should be. Mine has that button. At least it normally does. Carrying Ice Pip, Lava Eel, Legend 2, Ling Cod. We'll actually have some more Ling Cods, but we'll deal with that when we're actually properly stacking them. Midnight Carp. That's changed. We gotta go to fancy places, sadly. We also gotta fix this at some point. So 7 plus 45 is 52. Making progress there, at least. Miss Angler has also changed, as my chat is well aware of. Midnight Carp is. You sure you don't want to revise that to the proper filth? <laughs> I can't even say with a straight face. All right. 247 Miss Anglers. Making good progress there. Uh, Periwinkle is a very strange one because it was stacked, but now it's not anymore. So we're at 1,698 Periwinkles. Which should get us pretty close. Yeah, we got very close to finishing it this year. We'll be done in about an hour for you, Johnny, so don't worry. If we're taking longer than an hour, then I'm probably doing something wrong here. Uh, salmon will be next, so let's head back over to our other fish. So for salmon, we got 600, 765. Uh, sandfish, no. Sardine, yes. Sardine has 824. Okay, Scorpion Carp, no. Sea Cucumber, yes. 756. No, no, no. Stingray. Sturgeon, yes? No, not Sturgeon. Super Cucumber. I don't want to count them, but uh, I guess we kind of have to, huh? We'll come back to Super Cucumber in a minute here. We have... What was the one we missed? Oh, Squid and Midnight Squid. I completely forgot about. 
So Midnight Squid is 70. Just kidding, it's 262. And Squid is 262 as well. <laughs> I'm not counting the ones in the pond because it's very complicated to do that. The COD Let's Play is what got me canceled. That's correct. <laughs> Large mouth as well. Oh, I already fixed that one. Never mind. Okay, so that's all of them. Should be good to go. Oh, there's the one we need to do, which is the... Super Cucumbers. We're not going to count these because I know this adds up to 999. So it is 1,633 Super Cucumbers. Okay, and on to row. Hello worlds and L. Oh, what happened to the quality? Is it a problem? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> They're talking about the quality of the stream, Chunky. You're right, I'm not doing quality. You're absolutely correct about that. Accept it. Okay, Bream, no, no. Okay, we start with Eel Row. 958 eel roll. Large mouth row is 493. Wait, no it isn't because there's some up here. Do I have some in here? Oh yeah, we do. Wow, we've gotten a lot of that. Okay. So we just put 999 in here. So this is officially finished. Uh, yes, L means limited. So it means I can purchase it, but I can't purchase it all at once. Um, for instance, like... Krobus sells fish every so often, but I can only get five at a time, and it's also random. So that's just kind of code. This will all be in the info chart when I actually finish that. <laughs> okay, moving on to Midnight Carp Row. We've got 43, which is an infinite increase from zero. 900 Salmon Row. One thousand and forty-four Sardine Row. Nine hundred and forty-seven Super Cucumber Row. Oh no, it's just Sea Cucumber. 1,244 is actually down here where you got 245 key fruit jelly so jar jelly Q fruit 245 actually we can count these as done I just want to check something really quickly here we have to go over here anyways Okay, this is all here, and since this is all here, I'm going to go ahead and count this as finished. I think that technically counts. So if the jelly is done, I'm going to check that real fast here just to make sure 
that it didn't disappear overnight. Because I don't exactly know how the mechanics work. So, at the very end of last year, I managed to finish both Q-Fruit Jelly and Q-Fruit, um... Yeah, this all looks done. None of them are empty. Okay. So yes, I'm gonna mark these as done because they are ready to be harvested. I just have to pick them up. So let's go ahead and head over here. So that is stacked. So that's our first stack done. And then Q fruit wine. Will also be done if I can scroll on down. We managed to get them done this year, which is really awesome. All right, the other stuff we have to check here. We need our aged row. I just looked in there for our large mouth, so I know that's done. Looks like it was done already. I don't think anything else has changed. Catfish, cockle, no, no, no. for fish yeah I haven't aged any of the other row so we won't touch any of this but we do need to take a look at our our pickles or jelly and our juice so starting with pickles we now have 27 pickles moving on down to our jelly we're at 48 I think we got a fiver for that one our juice, we're now at 22. So these all went up this year, which is nice to see. Which, on average, I should get 1.5 per year, but it doesn't always seem that way. And for our void mayonnaise, which used to be stacked and actually still is. I just actually have to put in the right amount. Looking in the wrong spot. There we go. So I have another stack of it. So I just have to market is done here we'll just do that it'll go over but that's fine <laughs> i have over overflow protection on the sheet now okay so that's all of artisan goods okay on to our crispy bass and our dish of the sea whoops onto our cooking in general i should i should say Leah! <laughs> okay, first one's Crispy Bass, which we now have 122 of. So that has gone up. Dish of the Sea has also gone up, but not like significantly. Dish of the Sea is now at 71 compared to 65. Uh, next time we do an audit, pretty much all of these are going to be done. So it's going to be at least two years from now that you're going to see a huge change on here. Fried eel. 158. Lucky lunch. 77. Not changed. Maki roll. 305. Changed a little bit. Uh, what won the treasure trove opening, Gamba? It was... Treasure chests, I think? I think it was treasure chest. Is there any way to copy this for my own use? Absolutely, Johnny. So if you... You can open the file. Well, you can open the spreadsheet and you go to file. Make a copy. And then I'll make you a copy. Which you can edit on your own. Hey, Ma Math, welcome, welcome in. Wow, words are hard right now. We're just currently updating our spreadsheet for our 999 challenge. If you have any questions about the challenge, feel free to ask. Salmon dinner, 72. Seafoam pudding, I think oh, it changed. 23. Math, thank you so much for the follow. Squid ink ravioli has definitely changed. We're at 161. That should be done by next year, bearing something terrible happening. Uh, strange buns. Unfortunately, we don't have any more. We're waiting on the periwinkles to finish them. Uh, and wheat flour is also still MIA at the moment. Actually, it should be even less than it's at now. 
Interesting. All right. So it's at 2,600. Oh, that's not right, actually. We've got one in here. Yes. So 3,000. 628. Which might still be short. It is just so barely short. <laughs> We're down by like 30. So I will have to go buy some more weed eventually. Welcome in, Matt. Alright. Let's go ahead and take a look at our mob drops. So we're at 1,262 bat wings. Which we got quite a bit this year. That won't look like it goes up much, but we have to update our other things and come back and look at it. Uh, we're up to 84 dragon's teeth. Which I'm not super focusing those, so not quite yet. Our galaxy souls are up to 215. We did really well on those this year. Okay, our slime is down, but also up. Uh, so the raw amount is down. We're at, sorry, 1,008. Okay, slime eggs, blue is 269. Green is 335. Purple is 166. Red, oops, is at 58. Tiger is at 115. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're we're at the audit right now. <laughs> we're trying to figure out how much we've done over this year. Uh, Squid Ink is at 999 in here. Interesting. Okay, and why is it only 39? That doesn't make sense. Wait, two things use squid ink and cooking? I didn't think that was the case. I can go back and look at that later, I guess. All right, on to seeds. Um, so this has probably not changed very much, but we are going to go check on mango seeds. I don't think banana saplings has gone up at all. 71 and 121, 71 and 121. Okay. Items and categories. The hardest category is probably decorations. The hardest item is like tea sets. You can only get these tea sets once per year and usually not that. So I didn't get it this year, for instance. Hey, what's that? <laughs> All right. On to materials. Starting with bone fragments, which we have a ton of. One, two, three, four, five. So 5,857. 5,857. Bone fragments, we went up by 1%. <laughs> That's very funny to me. Um. Cinder shards? Oops. Oh, here they are. Uh, 1,679 cinder shards. No problem, Junkie. Welcome back. Have we canceled Algo? Hopefully not. All right. Now for the big one, we have hardwood. I'm gonna need my calculator for this. So we've got 565 plus, my calculator's not on. <laughs> 565 plus 999 times one plus 36 plus 36 plus 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And we end up with, that number seems low. Because we used a whole lot of it this year, I think. Nine, three, four, seven, two. Whoa, we lost a lot of hardwood. I actually think I might have messed up the counts on there somewhere. No, that's 20. How did I get so much hardwood? Mahogany seeds and the uh, and ginger island. I just planted them with tree fertilizer and just kept on chopping. The pluses are in the parentheses. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget about that. <laughs> Math. Yeah, there's a lot of hardwood, but the cool thing is, get out of my inventory. I think we're done. We're gonna find out pretty soon, but I'm fairly certain we're finished with hardwood. Uh, prismatic shards. This one doesn't count because it's not from this year. Um, but I do think I might have left a few. I think this is fine though. 921. I think there's a few somewhere else, but that's okay. Magma geodes, 791. That has not changed. Omni geodes, 1091. Okay. Stone geodes, or just geodes, 589. That changed a little bit. Imagine if there was still only stumps. I know, right? That would have been torturous, so I'm glad that changed. Especially with how much hardwood item, how many hardwood items got added with 1.5. Okay, so 999 radioactive bars. No need to mess with that. Radioactive ore, we're up to 1,033. Well, that didn't... <laughs> it will change a little bit, because we, um also crafted a bunch of heavy tappers so we'll see how that looks in a minute minerals are all done we're now on to other starting with artifact troves which we have two stacks of which is 1998 okay look at that look at this 24 percent done that'll actually go up a little bit because we have to put in our artifacts still auto grabbers i don't know if we got any this year 28 Oh, auto grabbers, excuse me. Uh, we have 33. I've been including the ones down here for some reason, which there are six. Seven. Four plus three. So, yeah, we actually didn't get any auto grabbers this year. But auto petters, um, we have 35. So we got two. We'll get those a lot more later. Digging structures would not have changed because we have to buy them and I didn't buy any. Enrichers, we have 54. We got a lot of those this year, over 10. Farm computer has not changed because I have to craft them and I have not crafted them. Golden coconuts probably has not changed, actually. <laughs> we have... Oh no, it should have changed. 1,266. Okay. Heavy tappers, that definitely changed. 352 heavy tappers. We actually almost doubled it. That will bring radioactive bars up a lot. Hoppers have not changed because I didn't craft any or buy any. Uh, Junimo chests definitely changed. We now have 235. We've been buying these when we can. Magic rock candy definitely changed. 248. This challenge without mahogany trees would be awful. Straight up awful. Yes, exactly. Sapling got it. Uh, D means deconstructor. Alright. Uh, uh, mini obelisks. I believe we have 899. Yes, we do. We got over 100 of those, which means we should finish that by next year. Uh, Q 
Okay, Monster Musk. Monster Musk is up to 733, which will make our slime and bat wings look a lot better. Oil Makers. Keep having to jump back and forth, don't we? <laughs> Oil Makers are at 781. Okay, ostrich incubators, we definitely didn't craft any of those. Pressure nozzles, we got a few of those from drops. So we're currently sitting at 47. All right, time for the rare crows. Rare crow number one. Dude, they're not in order somehow. We're at 13. Oh, we forgot to get that one this year. That's right. Rare crow number two. We're at 11. We didn't get that one either. <laughs> Rare crow number three. Oh, we're at two of those. Yep. This was a bad year for yearly things. I keep on, kept on forgetting. Four went up. We have 120 of those now. Rare crow number five. 11. Hey, we remembered to get that one. That's so smart of us. How do you get 999 of the mayor's pants? Uh, looks like Johnny answered, but if anyone else is curious um on youtube here you can put a staircase in your pants slot and uh that'll give you one and then they stack together so <laughs> that was a lot of what i did for the last few days <laughs> unfortunately uh seaweed seaweed we have 164 which is actually a net positive for once <laughs> i stopped making fish ponds for a while slime incubators would not have changed statues of endless fortune uh, we are up to 414. Wait, 7 plus 5. No, not 14, 12. Hey, okay. those. Maybe by next year. I mean, by the next time we'll audit, we'll definitely be over halfway done with those, which is great. I don't believe I got another island warp totem, but I might have. We have 5, and there's 5. Yep. Uh, this one is now done. Lucky trim purple shorts. Trim lucky purple shorts. Okay. Uh, and that's it for here. On to artifacts. So this is the one we have to update the most on, because there's so many. 107 amphibian fossils. 260 anchors. Two hundred and twenty-six ancient dolls. Two hundred and fifty-two ancient drums. Five hundred and nine ancient seeds. Two hundred and sixty seven ancient swords, two hundred and thirty eight arrowheads, two hundred and forty one bone flutes, uh, let's see, is it not Alit? I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. I guess it would be Al Alleti, not Aleti. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, though. Uh, 239 chewing sticks. Chicken statues are 261. Chipped amarath. Oh, is it amphora? I've always called it amarath for some reason. I have no idea why. That's the plant, isn't it? <laughs> 195. Alouette. Okay. Not Alouette. Hope I'm still saying that right. <laughs> Dried Starfish is up to 268. Dwarf Gadget. It's up to 434. Dwarf Scroll 1 is 688. We got a lot of those this year. Dwarf Scroll 2 is 394. Dwarf Scroll 3, 420. Very nice. Dwarf Scroll 4 is 197. 
Dwarvish Helm. 193. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Elaine. Yeah, Artifact Trove is what AT stands for. Is that where it says it on here? Yeah. So that means I can get them for the Artifact Troves. So you'll notice that all of those are kind of around the same amount, except for the ones I can get like from other places. They're all around like 200-ish, but they should be. Kind of averaging out poorly right now. Hopefully that will fix itself as we keep on move moving up here. Yes, this always does feel very satisfying. I feel bad about making it every two years, but we're just not getting as many stacks as we used to every year. So it's less satisfying. I want to keep it as satisfying as possible. Elven Jewelry is 223. Okay, Fossilized Leg. We actually have to head back over here. 421. Fossilized Rib, Fossilized Skull. 114, 59. 59 is unchanged. Fossilized Spine should be changed. We now have 18 of them. Look at that massive increase. We doubled the amount. Okay. Fossilized Tail, we have 94. Glass Shards, we have to head back over here for our 287 Glass Shards. Okay, Golden Mask, we're up to 223. Golden Relic is 210. And Golden Pumpkin is 212. I made a nice recovery. All right, now for the fun ones, the Mummified Bat and the Mummified Frog. 104 Mummified Bats and 36 Mummified Frogs. Mummified Frogs finally moving up. Nautilus Fossil. Gotta go back over here. 101. Ornamental Fan is 225. There are five Omnis apiece, yep. I get a lot from the Statue of Endless Fortune. Yeah, Johnny's on top of things here. Yeah, if anyone's just coming in and is kind of curious uh, about like how I'm going to get some of the last items, I do have an FAQ where I answer all of those questions in there. I'd love to answer them like normally in chat right now, but I'm trying to make sure we get through all this as quickly as we can. Okay, Palm Fossil is 84. Uh, Pearl, gotta go back over here, is 287. Prehistoric Hand Axe, switching back and forth is fun. <laughs> 263. Uh, Prehistoric Scapula is 162. Prehistoric Skull is 83. Prehistoric Tool is 248. Sorry, Math, what did you ask? I forgot to update the fossilized spine? I thought I did. Yeah, I did. We only have 18 of them. This is the fossilized spine here. This is the snake vertebra. It often gets called like a snake spine, but it's not called that in the game. Which one did I pr pronounce? Scapula? Is that how, now how it's pronounced? You're good. Or vertebra? Is that not it? No, it's vertebra. Scapula? Okay. <laughs> I've already told you all many times that I just like pick a pronunciation and stick with it. It's kind of irrelevant how it's actually pronounced at this point in my life. <laughs> I have given up. <laughs> Alright, let's do the rare disc, huh? 233. Spatula. It's not a spatula, that's for sure. <laughs> Rusty Cog. 550. Rusty Spoon, 602. Rusty Spur, 259. 
Skeletal Hand, 56. Skeletal Tail, 408. Snake Skull. Uh, Snake Skull is 111. Snake Vertebra is 36. We got six this year, which is really good for Snake Vertebra. All right, time for the dolls. Uh, 82 for the pink. And 71 for the green. I feel like those two are racing. Uh, treasure chests were up to 231. And then finally the trilobite is up to 100. No, Chunky, feel free to make fun of me for my pronunciation. I don't, like, have a huge stake in it. I know I'm bad at it, so I don't care if you make fun of me for it. Ah. Good old water. Nothing beats water. All right. So, decorations. Hi, new statues. Welcome to the party. You are here. We have 48 Ragamagoos. 365 uh, and Pinky Lemon is still 13 Flush Bunny we're actually up to I think like 5 up to 6 we uh, skipped a few on accident because I forgot I had them 1% looking good Stu and Junimos are up to 11 Stone Owl Spawns, or it's probably still six, yep. And T sets, unfortunately, were not lucky this year. So let me go ahead and update the sheet with the proper T set failure mark. <laughs> this is eventually gonna make something very pretty on the picture, huh? You can get more of the weird statues. I also thought you could only get one math. It turns out you can get more. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know until this year that I could get, well, this in-game year that I could. Also this year, but that's less impressive. Ah, plus one percent. We like, we like the plus one percents. Okay, and now it's time for us to go through and see what's changed. So, this went up by a percent. Is that what you were talking about, some random team? We went from 85 to 86 percent complete. Very awesome. Uh, we could probably do more than that if we really focused it. Unfortunately, Chunky, I don't think I'm going to get 69% done anymore. Um, I that, I already rounded that one down. It was like 69.8 or something. So with the stacks we're getting done this year, that's probably going to change. Okay, fruit's obviously not going to change. Veggies did not change anything this year. Uh, Holly's not reliant on anything. We're still looking for Holly, still looking for Magma Caps. I'm just talking about like the future here. What we're gonna where we're gonna go in the future of this challenge, what we still need to work on. Purple mushrooms, we might finish soon-ish. We might finish by the next audit. We'll see how many we get. <laughs> I'll just write it like that. Exactly, sapling. Sea urchins will almost certainly get done by the next audit, which is really awesome. Flowers, unchanged. Okay, so the only one here that's really going to be different. Actually, really none of them are going to be different in here, unfortunately. There'll be slight changes because we finished, we got a few of the dishes. But nothing overall is going to change. Same with row. Um, it's cool to look at this, though. You can see which ones we're working on because they're different colors. <laughs> you can very clearly see the fish that are currently being worked on. Uh, artisan goods so we can look at our totals so aged row changed a little bit pickles at 92 percent uh jelly is at 96 percent done juice is at 91 percent and wine wine is completely finished we have a hundred percent of our wine done now that we did the q fruit yay <laughs> Of course I'm doing every kind of artisan good. I'm not going to cheap out on that. <laughs> no, there are different items. 
They are different items. It's not masochism. <laughs> they're labeled differently, so they're different items. Now, if they were just different qualities, that would be a different thing entirely. All right, cooking. Uh, so crispy bass, I believe by our next audit. Crispy bass, just of the sea, fried eel, lucky lunch, um, salmon dinner, and squid ink ravioli will all be done. And strange bun. This one should be pretty soon done anyways. <laughs> So, basically cooking's only going to have Maki Roll and Fiddlehead Risotto left. Everything, oh, and Seafoam Pudding. Everything else will be done by the next time we do an audit. I'm glad you are, but I'm still impressed. Fair enough, thank you so much. Alright, Batwings is up to 80%. It is possible that we finish Batwings by the next time we do an audit. I might go all the way to year 30 and complete year 30 before my next audit. Because that, that feels like a good audit point, right? Maybe, maybe we'll do f every five years after that. Who knows? Maybe I'll miss this too much. <laughs> uh, Galaxy Soul is not going to change too much. Slime is up to 36%. Five in-game years, Chunky. We'll see how I feel about it. I really want to knock these out as quickly as possible. I gotta start moving on this challenge. Squid Ink will be done soon. I'm just waiting on the uh, the drops from the fish ponds. Yep. Yeah, so that's how we calculate it, by the way. Uh, if you look at Fiddlehead Fern, we've got like the total amount we have raw and the actual total. So the raw is like the actual amount of Fiddlehead Ferns I have, whereas the total is the amount of Fiddlehead Ferns that I have plus the amount that are in uh, various other things so for instance you can see up here on this equation it's including cooking which is the fiddlehead risotto it's including um the juice i'm sorry the not the juice the pickles and the juice oh no it was juice <laughs> so all those added up should eventually get to the amount we actually need i know i like the audits too elena we'll just we're gonna move really quick we're just gonna keep going and going and going all right, back to materials here. Uh, radioactive ore and bars. We're over 50% on the ore. We're still not over 50% on the bars. We're getting very close, though. We have to get to 500... Um, gosh, what are they called? 500 heavy tappers, and that should bring us to the halfway point. Kale, welcome in. Uh, the basic wine comes from the Statues of Endless Fortune. Otherwise, yes, I would also be struggling with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, this has been done forever. All right. So we can actually see now our artifact troves, how far along they are. It still says 26%, so it didn't alter that much. But we're making progress there, at least. Okay. I don't think anything else here relies on anything. Uh, golden coconuts. I feel like this wasn't true last year, so let me just... Oh no, I think it was. But I've decided to take a pause on like actively collecting golden coconuts. Uh, I'm going to go back and do a whole bunch of blue discus at the same time. Uh, at the very end of the run. And that will make it much quicker. Onion, you're here! Okay, heavy tappers. Uh, hopefully we'll get this done by the next audit, but it's not guaranteed. Radioactive ore spawns are fairly random. And it completely depends on that. Junimo chests. It's gonna take like five years before we finish Junimo chests, unfortunately. It does depend on our Q quests, but probably around five years, sadly. So probably not by the next audit. Magic rock candy, I can get 16 a year, so it's just very slow. <laughs> Mini obelisk will definitely be done by our next audit. We're just waiting on Solar Essence, so hopefully that will be soon. Monster Musk is just bat wings and um, slime, both of which we get pretty plentifully. So if we finish Monster Musk, we'll be done with Bat Wings. So those two are tied together pretty closely. Uh, oil Makers just have to do with Slime. So every Slime that doesn't go toward Monster Musk goes to Oil Makers. So it's possible, but again, it depends how much Monster Musk we're able to make. Uh, press, uh, we won't talk about Ostrich Incubators. That'll be probably the last item I finish that's craftable. I, I'm, I used to do them every year the audits but now i'm doing them i'm going to increase the time 
because I'm not stacking items every year now. Uh, a lot of these rare crows we can only get once per year. And that's basically the holdup. Maybe we'll finish off three at some point. I just gotta go on a good luck day at the casino and just absolutely press buttons for a while. I don't want to audit every year. <laughs> I feel like it's just unnecessary at a certain point. It's fun. I like auditing, but we gotta keep moving. And this is taking up an hour of stream that I could be doing the next days on. Slime incubators require slime, which is the next thing slime is gonna go to after the oil makers are done. Statues of Endless Fortune require money, which is where all my money is pretty much going right now. Uh, island totems require... The only thing I'm waiting on for that are Dragon's Teeth, so those are going to be finished very late. It's going to be when I do other stuff. I should audit every day. <laughs> every month, Chunky. I finish a year about every month. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. Alright, so let's see how our artifacts have changed. We've got um, so the ones that aren't, do not have artifact troves to open them, like the Amphibian Fossil, uh, the Dwarf Scrolls. We just have to get those from drops, usually. Uh, luckily, a lot of them drop from the dig site or the mines. So that's why we have so many Dwarf Scrolls, because we go to the mines a lot. Uh, and pretty much all the other ones just drop from the dig site. There's some exceptions here, like the um, fossilized spine, but I know exactly how to get those. <laughs> so I'm not worried about that. Uh, it's just going to take a long time. Then the mummified bat comes from the volcano rocks. The mummified frog comes from the jungle weeds. They take a long time, but they've made steady progress. I got like 10 mummified frogs this year, which is unheard of. That like never happens. Hopefully that will continue. Uh, other than that, there's not too much more to mention here. There is something else that I passed over without saying anything. That's because I didn't notice it. Does anyone notice it? Anyone notice anything weird? No one? Oh, no, Cole's been done. Hardwood, Chunky! What's this? Hardwood is done? Hardwood has been a thorn in my side for like a decade in this game. And it was only not a thorn in my side before that because I just ignored it. <laughs> and now Hardwood is done. <laughs> that is... I have mined slash found, but mostly mined, over 200,000 Hardwood to complete this challenge. <laughs> just constantly mahogany trees and the harder mines and everything else it's all done mm -hmm. and I'm so happy about that okay and I think those are the only things that we were able to finish stacking this year Q fruit jelly, Q fruit wine, trim lucky purple shorts and the hardwood let's go ahead here This? That's very funny, doesn't it? It's so tiny! What the heck? Why is it doing this? I just, I don't understand. Okay. Gonna... Wow, we did it! Congrats, everyone! <laughs> Alright, <laughs> let's ignore how annoying that was. Uh, and check out a few more, check off a few of our items here to finish off the audit. So, starting with the Q Fruit Jelly. So, if we head on down to Artisan Goods. Okay, so, scrolling on down at the speed of sound. We've got. Q fruit jelly, and we've got Q fruit wine. So we get to add two to our artisan good column. So we scroll on up here. 
So we add two there. Then we go to our lucky trimmed purple shorts. Which is under other. And hopefully I put it on here, but I'm pretty sure I remember to do that. Yep. Trim Lucky Purple Shorts. We managed to finish that this year. So we're up to 124. And then finally, the big one. We head to our metals, materials, and gems. We have hardwood all finished up. And with one number, a lot has been alleviated. <laughs> huh? The double chest? What are you talking about, Junkie? There ain't no double chest. Are you adding more hardwood items? Yeah. I fully expect it, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so we added four items in total. First of all, let's refresh that so that all fixes up. And 100... I'm sorry. 628 out of 898 so let's see if we're still 69 percent for chunky's benefit here <laughs> we can still call it hold on let me uh 69.93 percent don't have to change a thing still 69 percent complete of total items. <laughs> Sorry, not of total items. Of stacked items. I've never been happier. I'm proud I could make your day, Chunky. Uh, and on that note, I think that's where we're going to call it for the audit. So thank you everyone so much for joining us. And we will probably see you next time in possibly two to three more years of Stardew. So see you then.